All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice strike. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Not there. Checks that leg kick. Switching stances here. And he landed the right hand there. Nice right hand. Big kick land. Now connects with a right. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Look at him drive his shins into the whole body with that body kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, misses with the jab. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Big kick land. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks, that one was checked. Super Bowl. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check a but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice punch lands over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Thirty seconds to go in the round. Head kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl.
there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Nice. Nice one, two there. Oh, that's how it's done. He blocks the shot and then delivers the straight count. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Effective strike there by Green Super Bowl. Huge block there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, Superman punch is good. Nice kick. Landed there instead, a swing and a miss by Shore. He blocks the punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he leads with a really sat down on that right hand. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And both guys really throwing with authority. jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Straight right hand, no good. Great punch. Over and over, he landed some big body kicks. Blocks the strike. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh man, that kind of felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller foot. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Nice head kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Outstanding kick there by Choi. Going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Pretty good right hand. 
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Beautiful strike. Two rounds in the books. A lot, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. This round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. You know, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. And they set. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Good one. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Superman punch lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. He went high on that one. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Punches block. Had him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. Superman punch lands. Oh, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over three minutes to go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Just a slip there. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, that's a good right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Campbell's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, man, head kick land. Spinning back fist. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use. Choi gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, nice elbow. Beautiful kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Big body kick land. Back and forth we go. Just out of range with that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. 
What a damaging punch. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. And they separate. Oh, big Superman punch there. Such a fast leg kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Visibly limping here. Beautiful head kick. Let your hands go. Let Start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good punch, Lance. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. His hands are down. Let's stop the There's no give on that leg kick. Effective punch there by Short. There. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Big body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick lands. Spinning back fist. to avoid the right. Oh, that kick is good by the Korean Super Bowl. Superman punch. Leg kick.
right to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now land a clean. And now he lands a combination. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Shorts. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot on it. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. It is the fifth and final round. Clip with the right hand. What a punch. Slips. Big leg kick land. Just misses there with the left. You got to whip his hip into that kick. the Octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has come south this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by...